So, Suicide Squad has a new character, which is Deadshot's daughter. Who fucking cares? Anyways, moving on. Yeah, I'm not joking. <laughs> Sorry guys, I do really want to apologize about this. This video is going to be the bar minimum of effort because I just want to see if the YouTube algorithm is going to push this video because it's a Suicide Squad video and my most popular video is the Suicide Squad review, which I gotta say, fuck off YouTube algorithm. Uh, I do many other things and talk shit about a very crappy game and I'm done with it. I'm done talking about it. It's like I said, the next time I talk about it is when Deathstroke comes out. And if this video doesn't get pushed and doesn't get much views, then all right, I'll take it out and then shame on me, I guess. But we'll see once I post this. It's just really disheartening when you put so many hours into editing, which you might think personally is the best video, or you think it's funny, you think a lot of people will watch it, and then the YouTube algorithm just doesn't put it out there and it ends up flopping. And then the algorithm pushes it towards someone who is not interested in that kind of content as well like youtube really fix your shit but you won't yeah sorry i need to get that out of my chest it's been a rough week when it comes to work i'm starting a new position and my training begins today actually it, it just i'm so close to 1k it doesn't cost you much if you sub to 1k oh i'll be forever thankful and this past month i've been thinking splitting the content up which i've already started the gaming channel only I got one video. I tried to re-upload my Th Sea of Thieves video, but unfortunately it flopped and it really pissed me off. Again, YouTube just being very inconsistent, but I'm gonna put Dragon Ball Sparking Zero content in that channel. Hopefully that pushes the channel. And then I'm gonna keep on streaming as well. I'm gonna stream until we reach 1K. So I'll probably end up streaming later today, maybe. But it seems DC related content and Transformers content seems to be working for me. So I'll definitely pursue on that because I do want to talk about the Deathstroke movie. I need to start watching Penguin. I've been hearing it's really good. And I want to talk about the Transformers 1 box office because I just wanted to get the second weekend in. And unfortunately, it's not doing too well for Transformers 1. And I'll continue reviewing movies and stuff like that. And also react to trailers or anything that piques my interest. Those are quick and easy. It's just you got to be consistent with your uploads until you build a big enough audience that you don't have to worry about uploading almost every day or weekly because i want to build this community i want to make this posse of ours and the algorithm is just shit overall and promoting on twitter is just crap anyways because unless you buy premium there's no point in posting stuff on twitter especially when you're a newcomer because i don't want to be like those other youtubers that would just post on what like hate hate stuff uh, i i get it you know, it's profitable, gets you clicks, you know, you can talk about shitting on something that you're either not ever going to watch or even play because I see those kinds of videos and I just go, well, you're not even going to play the game. Why are you even talking about it? But sometimes they do experience that content. And it's warranted when you start shitting on it. Yeah, I don't agree with all the opinions, but you know, it's their opinion. Negativity sells, drama sells. Unfortunately, that's how the game is played. But yeah, I'm going to talk whatever I want to talk about, but at least I know what kind of topics are getting me views, whether it's negative or positive. But it seems like every time I talk about a Marvel project, those, the fans of Marvel just shit on me in the comments it's just really funny to watch because because the opinions they put out is not even an opinion it's just l take and i go oh okay kind of wish you would like to elaborate it but whatever but yeah at the end of the day uh yeah i'm making other channels for that specific type of content which is gaming and the podcast with me and josh we're making a separate channel for that uh the algorithm can go suck a lemon and again i apologize for baiting some of my subs thinking that they're going to get a juicy suicide squad video but it's like i said i'm done talking about the game i got other stuff you can watch but i'm gonna post more dc content anyways because i love dc and post more transformer stuff because yeah i'm done talking about star wars as well because again star wars is just uh star wars <laughs> But yeah, I've been doing this for almost a year. And again, I want to keep pushing. I want to put myself out there. And I want people to sub. Not because I shit on a very crappy made game. But I want people to sub for me. I feel like making rageful, clickbaity content is easy. When being genuine seems to be the hardest part. Which is why people prefer to choose the easier way out. But anyways, 
I, I'm pretty much done. Uh, for those who sub, for those who stayed sub, so for those who sub me and who've been my older subscribers, really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Love you guys all. Let's keep on trucking towards that 1K. That's the goal. Before the end of the year, I reach 1K subscribers. But anyways, this Gumby's gonna have to go and get ready for work. And I hope you guys have a good day or good night. Ciao.